In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Expo screen capture library that's available in the Expo SDK. There are two use cases of this particular library. The first one is when you want to prevent your users from capturing or recording your screen. You must have seen this when you're using the app Netflix when it prevents you from recording a screen. It's also useful when you're displaying some sensitive data that you don't want the user to be able to capture. The second use case of this library would be when you want to allow the user to capture your screen, but you want to be notified when the user does that. The way you could use that would be when the user takes a screenshot in your app, suppose it's a news app, you want to bring up the share button to tell the user to share your particular article. So let's go ahead and try both these examples out. So here in front of me, I have an empty React Native project that I created with the Expo SDK 39, and I'm running it on my Android device. The reason I'm not using an iOS device is because on iOS, you cannot prevent screenshot capture. You can only prevent screen recordings. Whereas on Android, both screen capture and screen recordings can be prevented. So first things first, let's open up our terminal. Let's install Expo Screen Capture by using Expo Install Screen Capture. Once that's installed, let's go ahead and import in Use Prevent Screen Capture from Expo Screen Capture. Here, inside your functional component, all you need to do is call the Use Prevent Screen Capture method. Let's save that, let the app reload, and now try and take a screenshot. As you can see on Android, it tells you can't take a screenshot due to security policy. Now here, I'm just gonna try and take a screen recording. So I've just got an app that I've opened up. I'm gonna try and record the screen. So even though it looks like the screen is being recorded, if I stop recording the screen now, you'll notice that we get a black screen. We've actually prevented the app from recording the screen. So as we can see, preventing screen capture is fairly straightforward. However, the second use case, which is actually getting a notification when the screen is recorded, is a little more interesting. Especially on Android, you need to make sure that you first have the camera permission before you can attach any listeners. So in order to get permissions, we need to go ahead and install the Expo Permissions library. We'll say Expo Install, Expo Permissions. Let's close that out. And here on top, I'm going to go ahead and import all his permissions from Expo Permissions. Now within our export default function, let's pass in a use effect. Make sure that it's imported in here. Within our use effect, we'll call a method which actually gets the permission from the user for the camera role. So we'll say get camera permission. And let's set up this method. So we'll say async function, get camera permission. Within this, we'll just access the status by saying await permissions dot ask async. And the permission we need is permissions.camera rule. Then all we need to do is we need to check if status is equal equal to granted. We need to add our screenshot listener. So here where we have use prevent screenshot, let's pull in add screenshot listener as well, which basically adds a listener that will fire whenever the user takes a screenshot. So here we'll say add screenshot listener. And for now, let's just pass in an alert. You took a screenshot. Here we want this to run only on the first mount. So let's just pass in empty braces. Let's save that. And let's rerun the app. And obviously here on top, Expo permissions should have quotes around it. So let's just save that. Let the app reload. And now let's try and take a screenshot. Obviously it says we can't take the screenshot because we have used prevent screen capture. Let's comment that out. Save that again. And now when we take a screenshot, we see we get a screenshot and we also get that alert. So we've seen how we can outright enable or disable screen capture by passing in this use prevent screen capture hook. However, we haven't spoken about how you can toggle this feature on and off from within your app. Let's talk about one last use case. And that's the one in which we'll have a text input. When the user is entering text in that input, the app will not allow the user to capture the screen but once the user is completed entering his text, the app will again allow the user to capture the screen. For that, coming down here, below our Expo screen capture, I'm just gonna paste in a text input, and here I'm just gonna get rid of a line item center and just pass in a padding of 30. 
So there we have our text input. Let's just quickly head over to the documentation and I'll show you the two methods that are available. If we come down here, you'll notice that we have these two methods, which is prevent screen capture async and allow screen capture async. Both these methods take a key and you can provide that key as it will help you prevent multiple instances of the capture methods being called or conflicting with each other. So let's see that in action. Here in our text input, I'm going to pass in the on focus prop, which takes a method. And here we'll call the prevent screen capture method. And inside that the key we'll pass in, in our case is password. Then once the user has completed entry and blurs the text input, we'll pass in the allow screen capture async method and we'll use the same key. Let's save that. You'll probably need to reload your app. So first let's try and capture our screen. Let's make sure use prevent screen capture is disabled. When we capture the screen, we see that the screenshot works. Now let's try and focus on the text input. Let's enter something. Now let's try and capture the screen. As you can see, you can't take a screenshot. Let's hit done to blur the screen and try another screenshot. And now you see this screenshot works again. So though this is a fairly small library, it's got quite a few features that will allow you to play around with the screen capture options in your app and you can come up with something very creative. 